here is a, a great iPhone application that we see uh, for uh, Northeastern University. I'm going to log in as a student. Uh, here I'm logging in as a student and I basically am presented in my home page uh, with information that uh, is most pertinent to me, things I want to know about, um, you know, such as, as you see here, uh, my transcript, my schedule, student card balances, uh, sports schedules, assignments, even things to tie into Facebook, uh, university alerts, even getting campus career information uh, for jobs and things like that. So let's just take the example that I'm, I'm a student, I wake up in the morning and I don't know what I have uh, for classes today. So probably one of the first things I'm going to do is go right into uh, checking out my schedule for the day and uh, seeing uh, where I need to be. So I click in on my schedule and here I'm brought to a nice uh, summary screen that shows me basically uh, my class information with uh, who the professor is, uh, what level it is, and what time. So it looks like I need to be in empirical research methods today in Snell Library uh, from 11.45 to 1.25. And here I, you can see that I can drill in a little bit further given the greater than sign on the right. So let's drill in further to see more information about this. So here I see that more information about the class itself, what the credits are, what the class type is, uh, the term that it's in, and uh, it gives me a good in amount of information as to everything I need to know about this class, even uh, final when the final might be and when uh, when the final exam might be. So from here, let's say I don't know where Snell Library is, where this class is being held, and I want to know how to get there, given that uh, the campus is fairly large and I'm still not familiar uh, early in my term as to where all the buildings are. So let me check out where Snell Library is. So I click on Campus Buildings uh, down below. Uh, click on it below. And here I'm brought to a nice screen uh, that shows all the campus buildings listed along with their addresses. I can even see them by academic, I can even see where the dorms are located or just see where the academic buildings are through the tab feature up top. So here we go and we see, okay, so where is uh, 400 Huntington Ave? Maybe I need to go to the Physical Education Center uh, before I get to class today. Uh, so I'm going to click in and go, okay, show me where 400 Huntington Ave is on a map, maybe on a Google Maps. So here we're able to launch Google Maps as uh, iPhone has shown us here. We can even launch uh, other types of mapping features such as Telenav. But right now I'm, I've, I've clicked in on the address uh, within, my, uh, within the student application and it's launched Google Maps and shows me 400 Huntington Ave on Google Maps. I'm now working within the interface of Google Maps. So if I wanted to do get directions, drive by car, things that you're accustomed to on Google, you could do that here. However, I'm, I'm fairly familiar. I understand where this location is. I want to go back into my uh, student an application and get some other information. So I click back out and I click right on the application and it should bring me right back to where I was. And here you see I'm right brought right back to uh, the campus buildings and their locations. From here, let me, let me, let me, let's say it's near the end of the semester, I say to myself, you know what, I need to know how I'm doing for grades um, so before I go home so I can speak to my parents about my grades. Uh, so I click on transcript right at the bottom where we have this graphical navigation bar as a quick way to navigate through. And here again, I'm presented with a nice form summary of uh, my courses and grades. I see a bunch of A's and B's here. So uh, fairly, I'm doing fairly well, so I know I'm going to have a good uh, winter break with my parents when they see my grades. Um, here I can even click in a bit further and get a transcript summary as we did with the class schedule and I'm showing the points I'll get, what my GPA, GPA is, my transfer, my hours, and, and further summary information. Uh, but let's say I want to go back and I want to uh, basically see what I have for my balance on my card account because I know uh, before I go home I want to do some uh, Christmas shopping or I want to buy a few books for the spring semester. Um, I can click in on my student card balances here and be presented with a nice summary format that shows me how much money I have left in my credit card, how much money I have left for my dining dollars, so if I needed to go to the, uh, the cafeteria, to the, to the mess hall to buy food, how much is left there. And here I have a nice summary of information that tells me uh, basically all I need to know about the summary of my account, similar to bank account information. 
but it's a it's a very uh, it's probably one of the most important features of this application to show that type of information. Um, let's sit today. I know I haven't you know done laundry in two weeks, and I know I need to get laundry done uh, for a student. Uh, but you know I, I know I live on the twentieth floor of of a huge dorm, and I don't want to compete for the washing machines and dryers. So I can click on something called Laundry View here, which I think is a is a very neat feature that ties in, given that it's automated, and it basically tells me uh, how many washers and dryers there are available in each building uh, and the building that I may be in. So let's say I live in building one, I'm on the 20th floor, I want to know how much time is left on a washer uh, so that I can go down in due time and have a washing machine ready and not have to trek all the way back up 20 floors without having uh, gotten a washer. So here I click in and I get details, a kind of a neat piece of information. I see uh, the amount of time left uh, for, the machine, for each washer and each dryer. It's a great uh, little feature to have and save you some time. Um, but those are kind of the nitty-gritty little things that you can put in. Let's say I'm a sports fan. Uh, today I want to go see uh, the hockey team play or, or the basketball team play. I can click in on my sports schedule here and see such things as the baseball team, the women's crew, the football team, track and field, uh, who their opponent is today, and uh, what channel is playing on. A very good feature for fans who really want to stay in touch with their school's uh, athletics. I can even check if I don't know uh, what uh, channel... Uh, you know the sports team is on. I can even click in and get a, a picture of the local cable listings if I'd like to. Um, but probably one of the most important features is let's say I want to know what my assignments are today. I need to know what to get done before the semester is over. I click in on my assignments, and again I'm presented with various different ways of seeing the assignments. I can so here it looks like I have a final draft due. Let's say I've done it. it took me an hour to get it done. Uh, I see a summary base of information here. I'm finished with it. I want to mark it down so I keep track of how I'm doing today. I mark it complete. I click OK. And uh, there it is. It's now uh, back. And I've finished the assignment. And I've tracked it. And I can basically monitor it that way. I can come off this list uh, when I refresh this screen. Uh, finally, uh, not finally, but a few, <clears throat> a few things that students love these days are third-party uh, connections to third-party types of applications. And, and as we all know, that Facebook uh, and Twitter, those types of accounts are very popular with students today and is almost a necessity for students to have to stay in touch with their network of friends. So we have connections here uh, into some things like Facebook where I can see my, my listings of friends and uh, see what they're doing. I'm tying directly into my Facebook account. I can even drill in further on some of my friends and see uh, their information further, uh, all within uh, the, our student application here. Here you're able to see uh, further information about a specific friend that I have chosen. Um, I can even update my status if I'd like to um, and uh, update Facebook directly from our application, as you see here. Uh, but one of the things that I think is very important is uh, being able to alert students of anything that's going on, whether advisories or if there's any emergency uh, that students need to know right away so that students can be safe or uh, students can get to where they need to get to uh, immediately, uh, depending on an emergency. And an admin can typically type in a university alert, such as a weather advisory, as you see here, uh, such as classes being canceled, and immediately notify uh, the student base and the student body uh, so that they can uh, get that information quickly. Um, something like e uh, in an emergency, um, I heard you know things like the Virginia Tech uh, campus shootings, uh, that they were looking to have an alerting feature. Um, that would have alerted those students about such shootings uh, in buildings and immediately gotten students uh, into safety or notified them of, of and to stay away from that building and get to safety. So that would have been uh, a wonderful uh, feature uh, to use uh, to, that might have even saved some lives there. Um, I can also keep track of maybe in my timesheets, maybe I have a work study. I can uh, keep track of the hours uh, I've been working as well and enter in those hours. I can even see uh, how much money I made during certain months uh, and if I can approve them. Here I'm updating my timesheet. I can essentially see uh, exactly what I've worked and how much uh, I've made during that time. Um, let's say I'm, I'm near the end of uh, my, uh, my stint at a college and I'm looking for jobs and I want uh, access to the employee directory. Uh, to sorry the career link to see you know the types of jobs that are available so that I can apply so here we have a number of job postings uh, that I as a student can look at and certainly apply to um, right through uh, the application if need be I can even click through each of these uh, job uh, recs open recs um, as as I'd like to see fit and see that which appeals to me and apply to the necessary ones 
Um, finally, I get some university news. Uh, if the university has any sort of information about events or ongoing uh, events that I'd like to notify my parents about or anything like that, I can certainly do that as well, um, and I can get information that way. But this is just a small helping of the types of things that are available that we can show uh, for a student uh, on, a, on, a, on an application. Uh, obviously, there's m much more uh, things that are capable to show um, that we could give uh, students access to to have them more connected. Um, but this will certainly allow the students to be more efficient, allow them to uh, get through the campus easier, and allow them to stay more connected uh, through their college. Thank you very much.